Hello again. I know my voice probably startled you, but I can't figure out any other way to start these clock videos. I'm making this video because I've updated my clock. In the last video, I talked about how the escapement pallets would wear out over time. This didn't really bother me that much. Replacing those pallets once every year or so was not that big of a hassle. However, I realized slowly over time that the escapement pallets wearing out was likely the biggest source of inaccuracy of the clock. As the pallets would wear down, the behavior of the clock would change, requiring retuning the effective length of the pendulum to maintain accuracy. To try to fix this, I've redesigned the escapement. The new design is a, is a grasshopper escapement inspired by other designs I've seen on YouTube. I will link the relevant videos below. I'm hoping that this new design will reduce the wear of the escapement, helping the clock to perform more consistently over time. In this escapement design, the escapement wheel teeth don't slide across the pallet faces. That sliding would eat away at the plastic over time, leading to the wear. Another issue is that the knife edge suspension that I used previously was very sensitive to the exact position of the cradle. A very small change in the positioning of that would lead to the effective length of the pendulum changing, which may have been another source of inaccuracy. Here's a closer look at this new escapement design. I really like this design because I think it's much easier to reproduce than any of my past designs. There are only four parts that need to be precisely positioned to adjust the escapement. The two yellow bushings slide along the black axles, and the two parts attached to the blue pegs control the supported position of the pallets. In the past, I had avoided designs like this because I thought so many moving parts would be difficult to tune and get working. But I found that this actually was much easier to tune than any of my previous escapements. Everything else about the clock is the same as before. The pendulum, the weight, the rewinding mechanism, and the clock face are all the same. The clock still runs for a little over three days before ne the weight needs to be reset. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't bother subscribing to my channel. If you do, you'll probably be disappointed because I only post videos maybe once a year.